All right. Hello and welcome to another Expert Inside interview. My name is John Golden from Sales Pop, online sales magazine and Pipeliner CRM, joining you as usual from San Diego. And today I'm joined by Arjun Rai, who is in New York City. How are you doing? Arjun? I'm doing fabulous. Thanks so much, John, for, for the opportunity to come on here and, and, and talk about how we're helping small businesses uh, for the price of a cup of coffee with all digital marketing. Yeah, I love it. Uh, and uh, as you could see from Arjun's uh, shirt and, and the office, he <laughs> comes from Hello. The company is HelloWoofy.com. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's get straight into it. Uh, just before we came on air, we were just briefly discussing, uh, you know, for a lot of small to medium sized businesses, and that's what we're going to talk today about is, is SMB marketing, is, you know, they look at all the big boys, and they look at all the money that's being pumped in and, and, uh, and, and feel like they can't compete because even yep. kind of the, the guerrilla tactics that people used to use now kind of large companies have like institutionalized that as well. So it's almost like, you know, where do I go now? So, so <laughs> when you talk to, when you talk to small businesses, how do you reassure them that they can still compete and grab some market share for themselves? It's a great, it's a great question. Here's the thing. At the end of the day, small businesses are way better at storytelling than the big companies that have a lot of templates, have hired people who have nothing to do with a brand, have never lived and, you know, can't breathe the brand uh, like a small business owner. The, the, the benefit, the upside of a small business owner is that they know every customer by name, by taste, by need, by want. And they're, you know, when, you know, whatever you used to do as a small business owner, when you had a real store and people walk in, you can do that on social now, and you can do that on digital now, and you can do it at scale now. And uh, unfortunately, so many CEOs of Fortune 500 companies are completely far away from the customer at this point that they don't even know the names, the wants, the desires, the needs of their customer, but they get it through focus groups, they get it through discovery groups, and that's all BS. A small business owner at this point, all they need is a, is a platform that's affordable, is intelligent, and they can be on their way and actually beat the beep out of their unlimited marketing budgets, you know, aka the competitors in their category. Yeah, because it's interesting there what you said about uh, we're large companies. So yes, they have the financial assets uh, uh, to do pretty much whatever they want to do. But the thing that you just touched on there, uh, we've been talking about for a long time now is like people crave authenticity and a connection and all that with the brand, right? Uh, and large companies are spending a lot of time and effort in trying to manufacture some kind of authenticity. But as you say, authenticity comes pretty natural to a small business. Yep. Yep. It not only comes naturally, but it's just in the DNA. Like you, yeah. when you're a small business owner, you're, you're making the, the arts and crafts, right? You're, you're cooking and you're in the ingredients, you know, the ingredients by heart, you know, I mean, if you're, if you're, you know, making clothing, you know, you've sketched the designs and you presented the designs, heck, you've even pitched the designs. Um, it, it's just, it's a different storytelling capability. And inside Hello Woofy, our, our mission is to, uh, you know, emphasize that approach in not only in social media marketing, but also in content marketing, because you can now autocomplete entire blog posts. And one of the things that we're most proud of is how do you bring all of that storytelling, the amazing content into people's living rooms? And we've been working with Amazon, uh, you know, the Alexa division's help to build the world's first, literally the world's first smart speaker scheduler. So you, all of those devices that you see, these fire TVs or mm -hmm. the echo dots that you see, all of these devices, guess what? You and I can now schedule video audio content directly to these devices for five bucks a month. Um, and and it's, it's so powerful because again, your customers are quarantined at home. The coffee shop owner never saw the customer ever again, right? right. Now the coffee shop owner can schedule a video content on these are the three steps on how to make the perfect cup of coffee. I'll give you the beans. I'll deliver the beans to you, even if even if I have to grind them myself. But mm -hmm. these are how you do it, and it's just a different way. But unfortunately, Starbucks is still going to win unless small businesses start taking advantage of uh, of digital. Yeah. So, um, so th that's a that, that's a great example. Um, just so explain to me a little more about some of the initiatives that you've done with small businesses, or some of the ways that you work with them. Uh, you know, where they can actually grab grab an advantage. Yeah, so Hello Wolfie is a is a digital marketing platform. We like to say a smart marketing for underdogs. The idea, the whole idea of um, or, or the approach of being an underdog in a category and and being able to be a little bit more frugal with resources, be have the upside 
<clears throat> that's where small businesses are. They're underdogs at the end of the day. And so we start off automating social media content. So as soon as you start typing a post, it auto completes the post for you, suggests words for you, optimize it for the perfect hashtags, the perfect emojis. And by the way, emojis have been shown to drive huge amounts of uplift and engagement, right? So we've actually scoured the internet to figure out the perfect combination of words and emojis to hashtags for you. So we started with, with social media scheduling and then we were like during the pandemic that boy, small businesses don't even have blogs or in some cases they have blogs but they're you know crickets chirping there there's nothing happening and so we built the same technology repurposed it for and we call it journal where now you can auto complete entire blog posts you can get mla citations you can schedule it literally schedule a blog post to appear on medium wordpress blogs and soon shopify blogs as well so now you got mm -hmm. a two-prong attack right you got the social which is uh, which is short term you got the content which is long form and you can seo optimize it too and then, like I said, we noticed that small businesses, boy, you know, they just, we noticed that small, smart speakers grew double digit in, in terms of percentage uh, percentages during the pandemic. People were just consuming more content, a lot more Netflix, a lot more Hulu, a lot more, all of those Fortune 50 companies, right? But then we realized smart speakers don't help small businesses, as, at least as of, until we got into a scene. Yeah. And so now you can schedule content to Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, Instagram, TikTok, Google, uh, Google My Business, and smart speakers all at the same time. And if you have a blog post, you can then schedule the blog post plus all the platforms. Now, get this: the prices start for forty nine a year, sixty nine a year, and ninety nine dollars a year. And so, <laughs> super, super, super affordable for a small business owner, right? But there's more. There's 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 even more to that. Uh, at the end of the day, if you think about bringing your early adopters along for the ride. We've only been around for 15 months. We grew 22,000%. Right. And I realized that small businesses, all of our customers, they should have a piece of our company. They should literally have a piece of our company. So because they, uh, you know, they were the early adopters and as we scale and if we IPO or if we get, you know, acquired in the future, that's great. All of the all of our customers potentially could have shares in the company as well. So I don't know if you if you heard of equity crowdfunding, but the ability mm -hmm. to yes. raise capital directly from your customers, amazing. So like I said, 50, 70, $100, plus they can invest, you know, our customers can invest as low as $100 into the company. They can have, you know, ownership in the company as well. And like I said, if you then, if you become an affiliate, you potentially could make all of it back and more, right? Because we give commissions, we give 10% commissions. So in, in some cases, people are, you know, have recoup half of their investment or more. Um, and that's just a different way of thinking. No, it is. And obviously it allows, uh, it allow, yeah. And it, but your product obviously it, in its essence allows a small business to do things at scale that's in, that would be impossible to do given mm -hmm. the constraints they have on resources. Yeah, no, exactly. And, and, and I'm happy to give a, a quick demo as well. Uh, yeah, but please. the, the idea is, is, is we need to help small businesses, 400,000 small businesses shut down last year because they couldn't figure digital, uh, you know, uh, out for themselves. So if you take a look at our, our page here, where it says smart mm -hmm. marketing for hello, Wolf, uh, for smart marketing for underdogs, a lot of the tools out there, they look like this. They're overly simplified. They charge you 50 to hundred dollars for an SMB plan. Most of our customers, they're for load employees. They're, you know, coaches, they're yeah. podcasters. They just got into the business. They can't afford more than 10 or $12 a month. We're starting at $5. And then when you take a look at enterprise solutions, boy, these cost hundreds of thousands of dollars a year in mm -hmm. licensing fees. So like not very helpful. So when you come into Hello Wolfie, what you'll notice is there's a lot of white space. Everything is color coded. And the idea is as soon as you start typing, for example, how are you? Of course, we love you, John. And uh, my coffee, I really like my coffee. Well, guess what? It's suggesting the content for me. It's optimizing the content for me as well with the perfect emojis. Now, again, don't take my word for it. Take Adobe's word for it, right? Mm. Emojis, according to their research, drive huge amounts of uplift and engagement and purchase intent. So what did we do? We literally mapped the entire English dictionary to figure out exactly which words, which emojis, which other emojis, which other hashtags tend to be used of one another so that you're not playing the guessing game of what's going on, what to use, what when to use it. In fact, mm -hmm. speaking of when, we're also tracking which emojis are being used right this moment as we're talking about this on the show. And if you click the wow. purple dot, find royalty free images that are you know that you're able to use for commercial uses and based on what you typed in so far and then based on what you uh, what the image is about 
it'll then give you hashtag recommendations and you can double click on them and optimize it for something else. So this is a very small sample. There's so many more capabilities mm -hmm. uh, in, in here, but then we expand to journal. You can auto complete an entire blog post and schedule it to appear on your blogging platform. So now that takes care of your content needs. Um, we can then also allow you to literally auto complete anywhere on the internet. So I'm in medium now, I'm tapping a blog post directly on medium. Yeah. And what you'll notice is that my uh, Google Chrome extension that we built allows you to auto complete across the internet. Double click, swap it out, double click, and voila, swap it out. And that's as simple as just turning on auto complete for anywhere on the internet. And to my last point, we've been working with Amazon Alexa's division to build literally the world's first smart speaker scheduler. So now you and I, I mean, this podcast can appear as a two minute, you know, ex, you know, trailer in the living room of all of your fans and all of your followers. And then you could be like, if you like more, if you want to learn more, click on the link below and learn more about sales pop. And the, in the wow. interview we, I just had with Arjun, mm -hmm. if you want, if you want to subscribe, subscribe and, you know, so on and so forth. And that's how simple it is to be able to, you know, schedule content. And like I said, anyone can invest as low as $100. We raised about $154,000 so far from a lot of it came from our customers. And last year, we raised over half a million dollars. It's just a different wow. way of thinking and building a business. Yeah, Small so business. what was, yeah, no, no, absolutely. So, um, and what was uh, what was your driver, your thought around, um, you know, doing the crowdfunding, but then offering part of the company? So we were actually asked to uh, be on a TV show called Meet the Drapers, and we won the TV show uh, second place. And they had a partnership with one of the leading platforms called Republic. And so the show promoted the platform, the platform promoted the show. It was a very you know, great situation for us. And we actually ended up doing two campaigns on Republic. And we just launched this campaign a couple of, mo uh, a couple of months ago, actually. Uh, towards the end of 2020. And so in, in a very short period of time, we've been able to get quite a bit of capital from our, our customers. And some of our customers keep coming back in over and over again. Um, as the valuation goes up, they want to you know get more ownership in the company. And uh, it's just a really, really great way to bring your customers along for the ride. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. And obviously drive that, that loyalty. And you mm -hmm. now also, um, you have multipliers out there, right? Because I mean, clearly, if I'm going to, if I'm going to sign up for your service, I may mention it to a couple of people. If I sign up yeah. to your service and I've actually invested a little bit in your company, I'm going to talk to yeah. many people. Yeah, and plus, if you become an affiliate, you're going to talk to a lot of people. You're going to <laughs> you're going to run for president and talk to talk about Hello Wolfie. <laughs> yeah, no, and absolutely. So, what are some of the things you think that small businesses are overlooking today, or what 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 are pieces do you think they're not leveraging? What what, uh, what kind of strategies or tactics do you think they're well, not leveraging that they should be? Well, here's the deal, right? Most small businesses they know really well how to cook an amazing meal, and that they might be in the mm -hmm. cooking industry. They might know how to design the perfect kind of apparel because they're in the fashion industry, right? But what they aren't really good at is, and because they don't have a certificate or they don't have a degree or they don't know how this isn't on them this is just their this is not their expertise which is digital marketing and it comes up over and over again when unsophisticated marketers they realize that their competition has hundreds of people working for their fashion mm -hmm. brand right their sure. you know cooking or cooking brand and and those people unfortunately don't know the story behind the company but they're really good at digital marketing so now you see these gaps in in between and and you know this is one of the things that people aren't realizing is that all of the software solutions out there for small businesses or quote unquote for small businesses, they don't, you don't fill in the gap. They just give you, it's almost like a Chevy. A Chevy gets mm -hmm. you from point A to point B, yeah, yeah. right? But a Tesla, we're trying to be the Tesla of digital marketing. It's, you know, the Model 3. Model 3 is beautiful. It's intelligent and it's simple to use. It's something that everyone can, you know, get behind, right? And and unfortunately, we're just we're, a lot of the other solutions are just the Chevys and the Fords. Not, you know, nothing personal with Chevy and Ford. I mean, Ford is a <laughs> right. great great uh, history of, a, of a, as an entrepreneur himself. But the point of the matter is, that things can get you from point A to point B, but it's not helping small businesses actually get ahead. And you can see that when you know during the pandemic, how four hundred thousand small businesses did not get ahead. They yeah. went completely non-existent. And that's we, we need. That's where Hello Wolfie comes in. Well, yeah, because I mean, as, as we said before, I mean, there's a lot of advantages that small businesses have if they can figure out how to leverage them. 
Yeah, yeah, and focusing on simple things like emojis. Like it might seem a, as a as a very funny topic, but the data it shows that it drives huge amounts of uplift and engagement in emails, in social, in text marketing. Right. So now the question is, can mm -hmm. we help small businesses use emojis better? Right. And that's we file patents around that technology. Then the question is, can we help small businesses actually use audio? I mean, I'm sure you've heard of Clubhouse. You've heard of Twitter sure. Spaces. All of these applications are now pushing, uh, going into the realm of audio. Well, what does audio mean for a coffee shop, right? Does it mean that they play more music? No, it means that mm -hmm. they have to distribute content, leadership content about the perfect kinds of coffee, the kind of coffee they're brewing, the different tones, the you know, different uh, the roasts that they have available. They, I mean, everyone can become a thought leader at this point. And speaking of underdogs, my dog is barking in the background. <laughs> excellent, excellent. I was hoping we'd get your dog onto the show. Um, yeah, well, but his, yeah, his audio, his audio is now on the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, but it's a great, but it, it, it's a great point because I mean, because I think that you know, small businesses sometimes don't, you know, they think of content. And when you say, oh, you need to create content and share content, they think, mm -hmm. okay, so um, when am I going to get time to write a blog post? And anyway, yeah. I'm not really an expert in anything. Yeah. And I think that, I think that people have kind of talked themselves out of this. And, you know, what you're showing us today is saying it's really that simple. And I love that, actually, the funny, the thing that was cracking me up about emojis is like, it's almost like if you go back to, you know, cave dwellers, that's how they communicated. Yeah. So it looks like we're in we're in we've we've gone through evolution we're now in de-evolution i think where we're going backwards now <laughs> we're, we're always going backwards and forwards at the same time you know someone once said history is history repeats itself with different characters and different stories mm -hmm. but the, the the general nuances are the same um right. and at the end someone else said is nothing new is ever ever invented it's just a different approach a different use case and a different uh character that you know plays the roles in the story and if you take a look at ink magazine again emojis mm -hmm. are just in, incredible amounts of uplift and engagement we've seen it internally now the only question is how do you make sense of it and and that's yeah. kind of where we're approaching it from a data science approach is how can we make it super easy for that coffee shop to understand what to use when to use and not just yeah. about emojis it's about hashtags it's about the copywriting it's about once you craft the perfect message as a small business owner for your marketing then how do you deliver it then you can deliver in social you can deliver through blogging you can deliver it through smart speakers who knows the next thing that might come out? And maybe it's telepathically. We'll automate tele tele telepathic marketing too. And you can just schedule a, a thought and you can have a schedule to other people. <laughs> Yeah, I love that. That'd be fantastic. Uh, yeah, because I mean, all of us, all of us have way more thoughts than ever come to yeah. become anything concrete. Um, and then just just in general, where do you see all of this going? I mean, tele telepathy apart. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's going to raise the bar and and force uh, small businesses not only to take part in a battle uh, for for attention, right? Whether it's audio attention, whether it's visual attention, or it's social on social media, it's it's for uh, a, you know, different kinds of attention there. But it'll raise the bar for small businesses. But guess what? It ra it, it it forces the bigger companies, the medium and large enterprises, to actually be a little bit afraid of small businesses for the first mm -hmm. time, and maybe force them to listen to small businesses more maybe acquire them more because they have the authenticity in their DNA. Uh, maybe it forces them to, you know, do better storytelling because all everything that they're, you know, doing usually tends to be very templatized and tends to be very artificial. Uh, maybe it forces them to be better. So I, I love when history repeats itself, but it, at the end of the day, civilization can move forward. And I think what we're building here, which is very, very interesting for, you know, again, that we're trying to build the biggest company on the planet, helping the smallest for the price of a cup of coffee. I think it moves civilization forward at every single level. But my only concern is small businesses. Yeah, and I think, I mean, and I think it's a noble cause right now, considering how um, I think small, small business were um disproportionately obviously suffered during during yeah. the, the the pandemic and and yeah. uh, and hopefully this something like this will help them to be better prepared to be able to ride the you know the natural uh, waves of business exactly and and the, the the more we can do it now the better they will be tomorrow um, and yeah. so, like I said, we grew 22,000% last year. We have thousands of, we have nearly 9,000 small businesses on our platform. We're very proud, but we want 9 million because <laughs> there's right. so many more uh, small businesses out there that need help. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, and again, thank you for, for the opportunity to talk about this. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, this has been great. So all of Arjun's information and everything about hello, hello, woofy.com. 
will be available below the video. Um, but before we go, Arjun, anything else you want to add about your company? Well, I was just going to say, if there's anything I can do for John or Sales Pop or any of your you know followers, you know, definitely email me Arjun at hellowoofy.com. And tell me your story. Tell me your small business story. Any features you want us to build for your business, you know, whether it's on the social side, on the blogging side, smart speaker, let me know. In fact, join our content masters Facebook group and tell us literally what's working for you, what we need to improve, what features you want us to build. We take a very active part in actually listening to our customers and adding their requests into our roadmap. Um, so if there's anything we can do for you or any for of your followers, please yeah, let's definitely email. All right, listen, fantastic. My name is John Golden from Sales Pop Online Sales Magazine, Pipeliner CRM. See you all for another interview really soon. Thank you. <laughs>